Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Transfer Daily with Football Inside, of course. We are here to bring you all the latest news in the transfer window for the summer window of the 23-24 season, of course. As the days goes on and the weeks go by, the transfers get every more busier. And of course, clubs are frantically trying to strengthen their team before the start of the season to make sure they're in the best position to get off to the quickest of starts. And of course, all Premier League sides are looking to strengthen their team to make sure they finish better than they did last season. Or the newly new promoted teams are strengthening their side to make sure they stay in the division. But for today's episode, let's start off with the Premier League champions, Manchester City. Now, things have been quiet on their end. Of course, they announced the departure of Ilkay Gondogan, who is likely to join now Barcelona. But in terms of incomings, there haven't been too much. However, that is set to change. As it looks like, according to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Benjamin Pavard, could be a Manchester City player. Now, this is because it's sources from Football Insider can reveal that Kyle Walker looks like he is going to tell Pep Guardiola that he wants to join the Bundesliga champions. Now, of course, Kyle Walker has been at Manchester City since 2017. He joined for a record fee, a def- record defender fee, shall I say, for an English player at £50 million pounds from Tottenham Hotspur. And since then, he's gone to be an excellent, excellent asset for Pep Guardiola. Of course, he's won multiple Premier Leagues, won a Champions League last season alongside the multiple FA Cups and Carabao Cup. So, it looks like Kyle Walker could be on his way to Bayern Munich, of course. And according to reports from Germany, Bayern Munich are willing to offer Walker a contract till 2024 with a next run option to extend by a further year. So, Kyle Walker could be standing for Bayern Munich on a two year deal. But let's move on also to Pavard now. Pavard, of course, had a great World Cup in 2018 where he was key, pivotal at right back, helped France to lift the World Cup trophy, then made his move to Bayern Munich in that summer that then saw him now. Possibly moving to Manchester City, of course, he's won the Champions League with Bayern Munich and he has won multiple Bundesligas. Now, let's not forget about Ashraf Hakimi, of course, us at Football Insider can reveal that Manchester City are also interested in Hak- uh, Ashraf Hakimi. He could also come through the door if Pavard does not come in, of course. Hakimi's been of interest in Manchester City. The Morocco International had an absolute excellent World Cup in 2022 where he guided his team. He was a star man of his team and he got his side to the semi finals, the first ever African team to be in the World Cup semi-final. So, well on to Hakimi. But, again, Manchester City could be in for Hakimi. So, watch out for Manchester City's right-back situation as it looks like it could be a straight, a, almost a straight swap between Pavard and Walker. Or Manchester City could explore a deal for Ashraf Hakimi. But that is yet to be seen. Now, let's move on to Chelsea now, of course. Chelsea have already signed Nicholas Jackson for after activating his release course for Villarreal, which was believed to be around £34 million. However, it looks like Chelsea are also on the hunt for another striker, but that striker will not be Dusan Flavich if Fabrizio Romano is to be believed, of course. Dusan Flavich was heavily linked to Arsenal towards January window of the 21-22 season, but it still didn't happen as he managed to join Juventus instead. But since joining Juventus, Dusan Flavich has really struggled to really stamp his mark on. Now, he's been linked to a move in the Premier League and Chelsea was one of those clubs, but that looks like a deal that will not be happening anytime soon. Now let's move on to, to Everton now, of course. Everton, they managed to survive in the Premier League last season. Now it looks like they are looking to strengthen their team, of course. Sean Dice is aware that they do have FFP restrictions on their squad, so they have to really fresh out loan deals or get in free transfers. We've already seen Ashley Young coming through the door. There's talk of Johnny Evans also coming through the door. Now it looks like they're going to attempt a loan move for Arnold Dan Juma. Now, of course, this might... Raise an eyebrow for Everton fans, of course, because towards the end of the January chance window last season, of course, Dan Juma already underwent a Everton medical. However, I still didn't get over the line because why? Tottenham came in at the last second that they made sure they got a deal instead. So Dan Juma, instead of having uh, signed for Everton and despite having a medical, he went to London and signed for Tottenham till the end of the season. But his game time was very limited. So now he's gone back to Villarreal. But uh, sources from Football Insider can reveal that Everton are readying a loan offer and will pay a small loan fee if it takes that to get him over the line for the season. So watch out for Dan Juma to Everton, of course. Everton, a long-term fan of him. Sean Dice has also already had talks personally with Dan Juma about getting a deal over the line. So Dan Juma could be a Everton player by the end of the summer transfer window. Of course, now Arsenal fans need to worry no more as West Ham have, have officially revealed that Declan Rice has left the club to join Arsenal, of course, a major deal for Arsenal, of course, breaking the, breaking the British transfer record. Bellingham say earlier in transfer window, Borgini Real Madrid for £103 million, but Declan Rice has smashed it by by signing for Arsenal for a reported add-ons up to £105 million. So Declan Rice to Arsenal is now confirmed. Finally, finally, finally. And of course, now let's move on to Manchester United. Manchester United also set to confirm 
Another signing in this chance window, of course, Mason Mount already came through the door. Now it looks like they are set to sign Onana. Now, of course, Onana has been a long-term target for Manchester United and he is set to leave Inter Milan with Manchester United close to completing a deal for the Cameroon International. Of course, Onana came through the Barcelona, Barcelona Academy, went to Ajax, then went to Inter Milan and now he is at Manchester United. But again, staying with the Premier League, let's move on now to Fulham. Now, of course, James Ward-Prowse got relegated with Southampton last year and he is the free-kick king of the Premier League, so it'd be weird not to see him in the Premier League, but that is set to continue despite Southampton and World Prowse being relegated. As Fulham have reportedly, according to sources from Football Insider, joined the race to sign James Ward Prowse. Now, of course, West Ham were initially the club being heavy linked to the to the England International, but and that is now believed that Fulham have also shared an interest in potentially signing him. Of course, James Ward Prowse was the captain for Southampton. He's been a, a mainstay at the club for many years in England International, so it would be a steal for when a, what, what, what other club gets him next. Of course, Fulham and West Ham, both clubs from London, are in the race and fighting for James Ward Prowse. So it'd be interesting to see. Who comes up on top, of course, West Ham do have the Declan Rice money to spend, so they might be financially in a better position, of course. West Ham also have the luxury of offering him European football next season after West Ham's Europa, Europa League, League Conference uh, win last year. It means they have qualified for the Europa League instead. So, again, that could be over the line. Ward Prowse to either West Ham or Fulham by the end of the transfer window could happen. And finally, now let's go back to Chelsea and, and the outgoing potentially, according to sources in France, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, could be on his way to Marseille. Now, of course, Aubameyang has experience in France. He played for St. Etienne, of course. Now, it looks like he's going to go to join Lyon's other rivals in, in Marseille. Of course, Aubameyang had a tough time at Chelsea after joining from Barcelona this season, of course. He didn't get much game time under Lampard or under Graham Potter. So, again, it'll be interesting to see how Aubameyang does go. But he, he looks certain to leave the club. Of course, Aubameyang has struggled at Chelsea after leaving Arsenal. His career has taken a downturn. But, uh a uh, spell at Marseille could do him a wall of you've seen what happened to Alexis Sanchez after his career took a bit of a downturn after joining Manchester United and Inter Milan went to Marseille and started to pull him again that could be also the case for Aubameyang but watch out for an Aubameyang transfer there but guys that is all we have for today on Transfer Daily at Football Insider make sure you subscribe to the channel as we'll be back tomorrow again for more information for you guys of course the transfer window is getting ever busy and you can subscribe to Football Insider to find